What is up everyone? If you want an easy way to get stronger and to learn new movements, then give greasing the groove a go. So let's get into it. So the greasing the groove method was a term coined by Pavel Tassolini, I believe I'm saying his name correctly, who is a world famous strength and conditioning coach and he used to train the Soviet special forces. So the man knows a thing or two about training to say the least. So what the grease in the groove method is, is you take an exercise and you perform a sub-maximal amount of reps throughout the day. Generally, you do about 50% of what you can to failure. So for example, if you can do 20 push-ups in one set, then you wanna stick to 10 push-ups and do those 10 push-ups every hour on the hour. So by the end of the day, you've wrapped up quite a lot of reps, but the key is, because you haven't gone anywhere near failure, all of those reps are high quality and you're teaching your body the proper movement patterns to perform that exercise. So what I've found from trying out this method for myself is that calisthenic movements, all types of bodyweight movements, are perfect for this method. More so for the simplicity factor because calisthenics can be done anywhere with very minimal equipment. And also they have a low stress on your body in terms of your nervous system and muscular skeletal system. So doing multiple reps of a body weight movement throughout the day isn't really gonna hinder you in your regular training or your day-to-day -day life. So calisthenics are perfect for this method. This method is very effective because like I've said before, strength is a skill and you get better at what you practice. So because you're doing multiple reps and sets throughout the day, you're getting in a load of practice no matter where you are. So over the coming weeks and months, you're practicing the movement over and over again, and eventually you will become very efficient at performing the movement. The more you do something, the better you get. It's kind of common sense. A few factors to keep in mind if you want to try this method is number one, stay far away from failure. You don't want to be going anywhere near failure during any of the sets that you are doing. Stop. I can't let you get close. Can you, hear you want your body to be as fresh at the end of the day that it was at the start of the day. So avoid going to failure. Number two, I would suggest that you stick with one movement per cycle of greasing the groove. So don't try to do five different exercises throughout the day and practice them. You're going to start running yourself into the ground and it is a lot for your body to take on. So my advice would be stick to one exercise until you're happy with how proficient you are and then move on to the next exercise. And number three would be to complete every single rep with textbook form. Because you're teaching your body a new movement, you wanna be as proficient as possible. You don't wanna teach your body bad habits. So the very last rep you do of the day should look the exact same as the very first rep you did at the start of the day. And number four would be to supplement this with your regular training routine. So don't make the mistake of making greasing the groove as your primary source of training. Due to the fact that there is a low stress on your body and you're working with low percentages in terms of your one rep max because you're doing high rep body weight work, you're not going to cause enough stimulus to your body to grow or really grow stronger overall. I mean, if you're new to training, just doing grease in the groove can be a good way to get the ball rolling, to get you into the habit of exercise, but pretty soon you are going to get quite proficient at it. So supplement it with your regular training routine. So that is everything I have to say about the grease in the groove method. It is a very simple method, it's not very complex. Don't overthink it, just do it. Literally get down, do those push-ups, do those pull-ups, whatever it may be. So, that being said, try it out for yourself, see if you like it, and make those gains. Until next time, 
Peace.